My mother was murdered on the 7th of October, 50 meters from my home. And my sister Carmel, this is the only, no, the only thing she knows is that my mother was murdered. She saw her on the way out from the kibbutz with the terrorist. And now she's held in Gaza for the last half a year. And she's suffering every second over there. In the last half a year, we are trying to get my sister out of Gaza. She's a hostage for the last half a year. Now we're getting to the Passover and to the Seder. And we want to celebrate the holiday, but we really can't do it because my sister is already there. is now in Gaza. And also my mother that was the one that's running the Seder, the one organizing it, was murdered brutally in the 7th of October. So I don't really understand how I can celebrate it right now. We're just gonna sit and eat a normal dinner because we can't really celebrate any freedom right now because we don't have our freedom. Kamel doesn't have her freedom right now. We need them back right now. Half a year has passed and they are not here yet. And we need to press everyone we can to get them here now, right now, as soon as possible. And we need to do it by pressing Hamas, that Qatar will press Hamas to get into a deal that will release the hostages. And to press everyone you can, press everyone you know that they will press as well to get to a deal because the pressure is the one that impacts Hamas. Passover is uh, coming next week. We didn't thought, you know, worst dreams that we'll get to this minute. Almost 200 days and Agam is not home. We think that, we say that Pesach is uh, the freedom uh, holiday. But for us, there is no freedom. There is no holiday because Agam and the other hostages are not here. We are preparing ourselves to the, the holiday, but we don't have any mood to celebrate. Um, some of the families are doing uh, this holiday together in hotel, so we decided the best place for us is with the families that we feel that we're bonded together, we understand each other. we dream of that we get a phone call and said Agam is on the way and we will make Passover here at home or in the hospital with her. This is our biggest dream. <laughs>